Hello YouTube, this is Remington H. And uh, after a visit to the Austin Summerfest ham convention this weekend, I picked up a couple of, of goodies. Um, one is a Radio Shack DX160, which I'll be um, doing a video on in the near future. And another one that I've been wanting to do for a while is to get a 40 meter ham stick. I wanted to try the 40 meter band and uh, my HVU 100, although it offers a, one, a 40 meter coil, it just, it's too being perched at the top of the HVU 100, as you saw in my previous video. Um, it's just too unwieldy. So I thought, well, why don't I get a, uh, a 40 meter ham stick to try my hand at 40 meters. And I saw one at a decent price at, uh, the, at the convention. Uh, at uh, this antenna is tall. It is long. That's going to be an issue uh, with driving around. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm probably going to give it a try, but I'll just have to be real, real careful. I'll have to measure the, the, mac, the actual height of the antenna to make sure I can clear bridges and, and so forth. But anyway, ran into a problem that after doing some research online, appears to not be that uncommon. Look here at my, uh, at my uh, antenna analyzer, the Sark 100, which I'll, I'll do another video on as well. I'm not thrilled with it. It's close enough though to do this kind of stuff. As you can see, the, uh, the SWR will not go much, you know, it fluctuates but it will generally not go much below, I don't know, 2.2 2 and a half to one. I can't tune it anywhere below that. I wanted to, I think to tune it around 7250. So I did, I did adjust the antenna height, did a little trimming, but that's basically as good as I can get. Not really sure why it's fluctuating that much. That's probably the meter. When I close the doors, probably get a little better there. Let's see. Well, well that's not. Anyway, it's generally around two and a half. I think if I close this rear passenger door, it'll, it'll improve. So after doing some research online, um, apparently Lakeview is the company that originally made the ham sticks. They're now defunct, but the original manual indicated adding a shunting a capacitor uh, between the the base of the antenna and ground essentially what would normally be sort of like shorting it out so they offered they said to use between a 400 and 600 picofarad 1000 volt capacitor this is what i went to fry's electronics and purchased today um, an assortment uh, to try some different values to see if that bring that brings the antenna uh, closer to that 50 ohm impedance. I do have an antenna tuner, so I technically don't need to do this, um, but I wanted to go ahead and see if I can match it to 50 ohms uh, anyway. Uh, it'll give me a little more bandwidth with the antenna tuner, and, uh, and anyway, I just want to experiment. So I have an idea of using these ring studs I'll show you later on how I intend to configure it. Um, basically connect the uh, each end of the capacitor to the ring studs, wrap it all in heat shrink tubing and, uh, and screw it on the antenna. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna give it a shot and I'll be back. Well, this is what I've done so far. As you can see, I'm just sort of shunting it across the terminals. There's a handy screw on the base of this adapter here. And uh, I just sort of, in the meantime, screwed it in like that and run a cable. And uh, I'm a little dubious about that tiny little capacitor passing as much current as this is gonna be putting out on at 100 watts. But everybody seems to be fine. It's, it's rated at 100, I'm sorry, 1,000 kilovolt, or 1,000 volts, one kilovolt. So this is the 330, ohm capacitor. I actually wanted to get like a 270, which may or may not have been a better option, but Fry's was out of them. So 330 and then 100 picofarads was the next step down that they had in stock. So it seemed like online people were talking about 400 to 500 picofarad capacitors being appropriate. 
Um, this is 330 and it seems to be the best option. According to my, my analyzer here, I'm now getting 1.55 to 1, which actually in itself is just fine. I would, I would touch that up with the, uh, with the analyzer. Um, but I'm dubious about this analyzer's accuracy, so I'm going to use my SWR meter to do a double check to see where I'm actually at. Um, also, being being in my driveway here next to big buildings isn't the ideal place to check your SWR. I prefer to go out to an empty parking lot, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and wire this up to my SWR meter and transmit at very low power and see what happens. And I'll see you then. Okay, guys. So, looks like I'm at 7.240 megahertz, 40 meter band, um, just at minimal power. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and key up. That's my SWR. Um, SWR at 2.55. And that's two seven four seven point two seven five. So, you know, it's probably a little lower than I'd want. I don't know if it's worth adjusting the antenna. That's two thirty-five, two forty, two forty-five. Yeah, I guess it's probably not worth adjusting. Two forty-five is probably a good position there. It might increase a little bit as well. Probably not. When I actually wire this up properly. Getting quite a bit of activity. I can obviously hear it's it's coming in quite a bit stronger than it was with the 20 meter antenna receiving on 40. Okay, this is the final result of my effort. Um, went okay, I don't have like all the proper tools to do high quality soldering, but I think I got it. Um, it's heat shrink to, to protect against the weather. I left the lead there, unfortunately, and it didn't shrink very well, but I'll just have to probably deal with that later. I don't even know if this is gonna work. So I'm going to install that there like so and where my alligator clip is there. I'll be back. Okay, so after some major hassle with a washer and a nut, that's the install. And now for the actual test. I may not be able to show you the uh, SWR meter because that just doesn't work very well. Make sure the power is still on low, it is. Switch it to FM. Make sure the calibration is still correct. Yep. That's a little higher, 1.5 to 1. At about 72.50. That's not as good as it was looking before, but... In any event, that's much better. Okay, and here's what it looks like on that SWR meter. But I know for a fact
it's a little better the 1.8 to 1. So if I close the door, still 1.8 here. Okay, you I'll say 7.3 for now and I'll uh, update you on its performance.